The ECU men's basketball team was playing tonight for the first time since the voice of the Pirates Jeff Charles passed away from a heart attack this Friday. A moment of silence was held before the game and a video tribute of his greatest calls was shown at halftime. Charles, the longtime play by play man, certainly felt loved by the Pirates tonight. The Pirates face the Cincinnati Bearcats this evening. Bearcats are tied for fourth in the conference. Watch this play by RJ Felton has the shot blocked then from his back gets the ball back and finds Ezra Osar for the and one Osar finished with 14 points 14 rebounds Cincinnati coached by former UNC player Wes Miller and look who was at Minji's tonight to see his former player legendary old Tar Heel coach Roy Williams in attendance Quentin Dabunje. A three ball for the Pirates. He had 13 points, six rebounds. And then again at halftime, a highlight video was shown of Jeff Charles's best calls from his time at ECU. Got a little emotional in the arena tonight. Ezra Osar on the charge. Can't get it to go, but Jaden Walker is right there for the dunk. Ten points for him. ECU rallies from down 16 to defeat Cincinnati, closing the game on a 26-6 run over the final nine minutes to win 75-71. And as Jeff Charles said, you can paint this one purple. ECU improves to 13-12, and, and the team is at SMU next on Sunday. Those two teams played in women's college hoops as well this evening in Cincinnati. Pirates came in on a three game winning streak. ECU came back from 11 points and won 68 57. Farmville Central alum Amaya Joyner finished with 10 points, 15 rebounds, three steals, two blocks for the Pirates. She broke ECU's all time rebound record as a freshman. Uh, ECU is now 18 and 8 and 9 and 4 in conference. The team hosts UCF on Saturday. In high school basketball, it was conference tournament week this week. Rivals J.H. Rose and D.H. Conley met on the girls' side in the second round in their conference tournament. J.H. Rose early on. Sarah Webb, a freshman, drains a three-pointer. Sean Moore's team would regain control after that. Check out the great passing from the Vikings. Results in an easy Crystal Haddock bucket for the and one. Then later, more great ball movement from the Vikings. The UNC Wilmington signee Kyla Silver open for another easy layup. And then DHC kicks it up top to number 24 Trinity Adams for a three ball. D.H. Conley was all over the place tonight. Rose, a turnover, leads to an easy Crystal Haddock layup on the other end. Vikings win 57-37. will face South Central on Friday for the 3A-4A Conference 19 title. In the NBA, the Brooklyn Nets hosted the Miami Heat this evening. North side of Beaufort County alum Bam Adebayo, another all-star-like performance for him. 24 points, 13 rebounds, 6 assists, but the Heat fall 116 to 105. In high school football news, East Duplin senior running back Avery Gaby officially signed with the Barton Bulldogs today to play on the football team and run track for them in Wilson. Gaby was a crucial cog in the Panthers machine en route to the school's first state championship last season. Gaby rushed for a career high 2,195 yards and 41 rushing touchdowns. He finished with 44 overall touchdowns, which was third best in the state last season. Congrats to him. That is your take on sports. Back to you guys.